Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. In this video, I'll show you how to share data between tables. And this is useful because it allows you multiple access points to the data in your tables and makes them much more flexible, something more akin to the arrays that you can use in Core. So I've got this brand new table here, and I'm just going to give it an arbitrary table size. It doesn't really matter what the size of the table is for the purposes of this tutorial. And once you've set the size of the table, you can click on the little disk button here in the function tab of properties and save the table to a file on your hard drive. You have several file type options, including WAVE, which is pretty cool. But I like to use the text extension. That way you can open the file in Notepad or whatever and take a look at all the values in it. Now in order to share this data with another table, uh, simply go to the structure view and open up another event table. And we'll use the load button in the file area of the function tab properties. And we'll load the same text file that we just saved our other event table into. So now if we change values in one of the event tables, you'll immediately see the result in the other event table as well. And I just want to point out that this works with audio tables as well. So you can share data between event tables and audio tables, which is also pretty nifty and gives you a little bit of extra flexibility with your tables. All right, once again, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com. Thanks for watching.